Hi, I'm Tammy Allen and I'm here at RadFest for 2050 Club and I am standing with one of the people that just made this happen. Miss, are you a doctor or are you a... I'm not a doctor at all. My name is Bill Falloon. I'm the co-founder of the Life Extension Foundation. We're the world's largest consumer-based anti-aging medical group. And, and you are legendary. This, the work that you have done is amazing and I'm also, uh, I use uh, Life Extension supplements and trust them and... Um, and, but I, what I want to talk about is how instrumental that you have been in this movement. Well, if it weren't for the battle we waged against the FDA in the late 1980s, we would not have access to the dietary supplements we do at a reasonable price. Wow. They would have turned into prescription drugs and become low potency and high cost. So I'm legendary for battling the FDA and winning. Yeah. And, and we, no small joke. It's not. It took nine years. Nine years and a lot of money a lot of time. But we won. And then also we have a track record. It goes back to 1981 where we were introducing therapies like DHEA. When I say introduced, we told people to buy it in Europe. We couldn't sell it. We said order it from Europe. Two of our members got arrested for importing it. We had to hire lawyers to get them out of jail. I mean, that's the kind of battles we've waged. Low-dose aspirin. Uh, everyone with a heart condition nowadays takes it. FDA took 15 years to accept our position on low-dose aspirin. We recommend that in 1983. And, uh, and people just don't have any idea, really, the public in general, that these battles have gone on so that we can have uh, the luxuries that we have right now with supplements and health. But tell me now, here we are at RadFest, and there's a lot of exciting things that are going on for our future. And we're all about sharing information with people so that they understand that they can relax, that they don't have to be in fear. And I just want you to talk a little bit about what they can expect in the next 10 years, 20 years. Well, here's the difference. If you go back to the year 2013, if you really felt there was a possibility at some point in the future of aging being controlled, reversed, you were just fantasizing. Because in 2013, all you could do is slow it, reduce your risk of disease. Start Technology started to emerge around 2014, indicating that we can potentially reverse biological aging in elderly humans. This is unprecedented. And we've been around for decades. And all we've been able to do is slow it down, reduce the risk of disease, sometimes better treat a disease. But when it came to aging, well, people had to accept that. And it wasn't easy. So this is a true revolution against aging and death. Because if we can reverse aging even 10 or 15 years, that brings us 10 or 15 years into the future when more medical, more modern technologies could reverse it a lot more. So... There's a lot of new technologies um, that you are even now helping to support so that uh, aging could be reversed, and who knows for how long. We are. We're doing everything we can to fund the scientists who have these breakthrough therapies. In one case, they've studied it on about 14 people, and they've shown rejuvenation of the thymus gland. That's the master gland of immunity. And older people, they have virtually no thymic activity. And we've figured out a way to regenerate the thymus gland in 14 people. And we've got another 14 people who are starting the second arm of the study. So that in of itself may add 20 to 30 years to a typical lifespan. So a person who would have died at 80 might make it to well over 100. And be healthy. Oh, yeah. Have a, a youthful immune system. Because immune senescence, number one cause of death in older people. This is exciting. So what would you recommend that people do right now as these technologies are being developed? But, I mean, obviously we have to take care of ourselves now. What they have to do is stay abreast of the latest developments. When we were recommending low-dose aspirin in 1983, no one knew about it except people who read our magazine. They were using it to reduce their heart attack risk. We do have a magazine called Life Extension Magazine. Go to lef.org and you can read it online. If you want to subscribe to it, no cost for the first six months, just type in your name and address. We'll send you out a magazine every month or just read it online, whichever way you want to do it. But we provide that information right now that's as just as advanced as low-dose aspirin was in 1983. Well, I certainly thank you for the work and for putting on this, helping to put on this great um, festival and sharing so much information. And we're going to be sharing that for, for with all of our people and how they can continue to stay involved and support the work that you're doing. So thank you. You're very welcome. Very welcome.